Okay, now we go on to the new builder for select object. So this holds a yes or no in it at the moment. A select object essentially has two columns, one invisible and one that you can see. So all the letters that you see there, N, S, E, W, we won't see them, we'll just see the descriptions. All right, so that's one way to populate a select, a select object with a select statement. What this will do is it will take the first two columns or fields from the select statement and it will populate that select object. Again, we won't see the first column, we'll just see the second column. Right, the other thing a select object can do is select more than one thing at a time and we just have to change that to yes and we need to make our object quite a bit taller change the height all right so let's see what that looks like and i can fantastic 